I'm Sarah. And I'm Cody. Today we're very excited to be exploring the Winnipeg Art Gallery. Right behind me you can see this beautiful structure being erected and that is the brand new Inuit Art Centre that is slated to open late 2020. So today we're going to talk to Catherine who's going to tell us all the fun and exciting things that are happening at the Winnipeg Art Gallery this summer. The WAG is just perfect for your day off. So let's go check it out. Thanks so much, Catherine, for hosting us here at the WAG. I know you guys were one of the first attractions to open up after the lockdown. Tell us a bit about what visitors can come to experience now that you've reopened. Well, we were so pleased to be able to be one of the first major art institutions in Canada able to open. And it's because of the situation here in Manitoba. We're so lucky, but also our space. We've got lots of space for safe distancing. We are keeping up constantly with sanitizing, following all the government guidelines. And for our events, we've implemented timed tickets um, for some of our bigger events as well. We're just limiting the number of people. So it's been going really smoothly and it's really uplifting to welcome the community back and uh, have a great place for relaxation and fun. Catherine, can you tell us about some of the current exhibitions that you have going on at the WAKE? We've really got something for everyone this summer. Our big show is L.L. Fitzgerald Into the Light. The artist grew up and worked in Winnipeg, so you'll see lots of familiar scenes of Wolseley, St. James. It's a very calming, relaxing exhibition. We have a sound installation by South African artist James Webb. We have a show called Subsist that looks at systems of subsistence in various indigenous cultures, as well as Niliayuk's story, which is looking at Inuit legends surrounding the sea goddess Niliayuk. You come, you discover something maybe you weren't coming for, and you learn something new. We've heard a lot about the rooftop retreat and all the other events that you have going on this summer. Can you tell us more about those? Gladly. So here we are up on the rooftop sculpture garden. It's the WAG's largest exhibition space. You can see sculptures from the collection in the background, a relaxing fountain, amazing views of the city. So since the pandemic, we've been looking at how can we give the community more space. And this rooftop retreat is our answer. We've added games, events on Thursday nights. We've got live music, film screenings, yoga. And on Friday nights, we've got TGIF drop-ups where we're open until 10 p.m. Smith Restaurant is with us with a bar and a barbecue and you can enjoy all the games. Sounds phenomenal. You have me convinced. <laughs> thank you so much Catherine. Cody, yes, what do you, you say we go check it out, grab a Absolutely. drink, do some games and just enjoy this Hang wonderful out. rooftop. Fabulous. Yes. Let's do it. Thanks, thanks for, again. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. What a great day to end a relaxing retreat. Oh, so good. To find out how you can save your summer at places like the Winnipeg Art Gallery, go to summersavewpg.com and to plan your visit to the WAG, go to wag.ca. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>